day and welcome to Student Manager Holidays. We're holding this in the middle of winter in one of the worst winters in forever, so we've, we've, we've got some palm trees up there this morning, Chuck. Very good. You? Well, I, uh, I was earlier complaining about you teasing us with the palm trees, but you assured me that this is, this is a goal. This, this, this allows us to visualize where we want to be uh, when, we, uh, when we get ready to uh, uh, get ready for our next uh, activities this uh, winter here. I'm uh, getting my slideshow up, so I wanted to get this ready. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, again, uh, there is hope. Uh, what Groundhog Day is next week, and we'll see if Paxitani Phil has some good news for us. We've got a short session today, but we wanted to cover the idea of holidays in Student Manager. And this is basically, as you're setting up courses, how you can create holidays so that you, um, um, you can uh, avoid booking your classes on holidays that your campus might have. And again, we want to remind you again, uh, as we're looking at holidays, though, again, we want to make sure you have this isn't a holiday. This is work, kids. May 4th and 5th in Las Vegas. And, and there's that little uh, message down here at the bottom. Current temperature is 65 degrees. You know how to rub it in, Lori. I, I swear. I swear. Uh, well, back to holidays. We're going to talk about the holidays again within the context of setting classes, booking courses, creating events, and student manager. And um, I'm going to ask right now for a shout out. Um, if you would, raise your hand if you really try to do a decent job of updating holidays in your holiday system in Student Manager. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, keep your hand down. So raise your hand if you are at least making an attempt to keep your holidays updated as before you start booking courses. So tell me, Lori, how they do that. I think most people know the routine. but About 30%. They're, they're, they're really working really? too hard if they're only 30%. Really, really, really. Well. Uh, <clears throat> we probably ought to be getting a little better results on there because it does help you with the way you do your courses. Um, all right, so what is a holiday? Um, the idea, a holiday is a day at your campus or when you're booking programs, when you don't hold classes, when you're on the beach or you're taking the day off or you're cleaning up the garage or the gutters or whatever. So how do you set that in Student Manager? Well, OK, what does it do? The system, what, the system and let, let me roll to when you're, when you're in a course, when you're in a course and setting the dates, uh, a holiday date is a date in your system when you do not want classes to be held. And I don't know if I've got one here. I don't have any courses here this spring. Let's look for a 2001 course and application development seminar. Um, if this was a class that happened to meet through, let's say, Martin Luther King Day, which was Monday the 17th, it would skip that date so that it would not meet on the Monday the 17th. And uh, it would book the classes around that. So again, that is the whole crux of the holiday um, calendar, is that you basically put in rooms that you don't, or you put in days that you don't want classes scheduled on. And as you're booking classes, a student manager will automatically skip over the top of those. And uh, we'll come back to our ACE Web Development Seminar and, um, and work through that. Um, back to the slideshow. So adding a holiday, and Lori has a great slide here under module holidays, add a holiday. And that gives you the holiday entry screen. Um, I'm going to, again, tab over to manager. So you go module holidays. Now I'm going to do find. Well, the find basically and we, we, whether you say non-school dates or holidays, however you might want to call them, um, would be the day and the description. So if we go to uh, Monday the 17th, that was Martin Luther King's birthday. 
one of the options you have in holidays is to do what's called a uh, system or a location specific holiday. So if you were using a holiday at the Jewish Center uh, or a, you know at that that was and you were they went what Rosh Hashanah or one of the Jewish holidays. Lindsay, if she's on here, she can help me with this. Uh, you could specify that at that particular location there are no the building closed, so we couldn't meet on those particular holidays. And again, uh, if there is a room, if you know that one of the buildings on campus is going to be under construction or they'll be doing pipe repair on a week, you could put in days for a given building on the campus uh, to say there'll be no classes on this particular building for that particular time. Now I'm going to go back to manager. I put in an example here that is Arbor Day. Well, Arbor Day happens to be a national holiday now, but it's particularly, it started in Nebraska, my home state. So if we had the state of Nebraska and its Nebraska Center for Continuing Education Meeting Center was going to be closed because of the holiday Arbor Day on the 29th of April, you would specify that at the Nebraska Center location, we're not going to have classes booked on the 29th of April. And the one, now let me ask, uh, again, show of hands, do you have, are any of our attendees today have a case where there is a specific location that might have a different holiday that they would want to mark than the rest of the normal school holidays. Raise your hand if you can think of one, or or if you actually have one. Raise your hand by clicking the little yellow hand, and only click it once, because if you click it twice, you raise it and lower it, and your vote doesn't get counted. OK. Anybody? Nobody? Well, just a few. OK. Three. All right. Um, so the, the, that is what the specific location option allows you to do, is that other locations that you've got, Memorial Day, I mean, those are across the board. You, those are independent of the location. You will not have classes on this day. An activity that is location specific will only come into play if you're trying to book at that location. OK. Now, for those handful that have this circumstance, do note down here the little, uh, the little red items. If you have a location where there is um, a specific holidays, when you're putting in a course, you need to specify the location first, then set date times. OK, now what are we talking about? Let's get back to manager here. And uh, we'll go to a course. So I'm going to go to an add new record. I'm at a new record, and I'm going to put in a course um, 11, or no, we'll get a course, uh, yeah, 11 S for spring, um, we'll call it Arbor. And it's an open, oh, open, on, no, it's not an online class, it's an open other seminar. And we'll call it Arbor Day Test. So, and we can put in our department subject code, uh, we I don't have a very good subject code. Skip the coordinator, begin date ending. Basically, when you have a room that you're going to book and, and or you're going to book a class, you almost have you have to kind of think ahead. So if we're going to have this class in a building in Nebraska where there might be issues with Arbor Day, you'd want to pick the building first. Pick the building first. And now go in and put your dates. So if we're going to put in, it starts in April, and we'll put it on Fridays in April. We'll put it on the 15th. Oops, back, 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 back. Come on. Stay with me here, April. OK, so we're going to book it on the 22nd of April. And if we were to meet for four days, now, you, didn't, you may not have seen that, but there was a little message popped up when I put in my four days and tabbed out, holiday date found skipping forward. I'm going to save this now. 
when we go to room use and we look at the rooms, we say 422, 429 got skipped. And so that is the promise of the holiday scheduler, is that when, you, and, and now this is specific to the location, <clears throat> but when you have a holiday in general, independent of location, it will skip the holiday and go to the next X number of days to meet your number of sessions that you are doing. So if we were to create another course, and we'll clone this one, save it, we'll clone it, and we'll call this Arbor Day 2, and we're going to put this on, we're going to change the location, we're going to put this at Kansas State. Kansas State doesn't care about Arbor Day, okay? And we're going to put in uh, the similar time, 04, 22, 11, and four days, and hit save. It booked it on the 29th, because that is not a holiday for anything other than Nebraska Center. Um, all right. I'm going to take a little bit of a breather here and see if you got any questions, anybody, comments, suggestions, things that they've done or used or played with holidays for. I think that's really the crux of what we're after here. Any? I'm looking to see. We had so, so many weather-related comments. <laughs> yeah, any, any questions in there? <laughs> um, does the, the skip day list on the customer receipt anywhere? Uh, the skip day would, no, I have to say, there is not, and I take that back, there is a report, there's a function that you can put on a receipt that would show holidays coming up. Now, uh, different people do that in different ways. Some people list the meeting days of the class on the receipt. What I would probably do, and let's go back to our Arbor Day class, would be I put in, if you since class is probably not, this is not a main occurrence, you could go in and do something as simple as go to comments and put in class does not meet on Arbor Day. So you could just put that in the class notes. And I would, if you wanted to be fancy, you could also put it in the registration warning message so that when you're registering people, you could tell them that, you know, hey, this class skips on that particular day. But there, 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 there are a couple of functions in the, in the function chart that show holiday calendars. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the help here. Student manager, I'm I'm on the ACE web or on the student manager help. We go to student manager topics report functions and look for holiday. How to do? We get down to the H's holiday uh, returns a true if a holiday falls on the schedule. Character to date. Let's go back to holidays. And I am has holiday Excuse me. meet days to, 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 to meet dates. Here is the meet dates one um, is one that sometimes people do is it shows a list of the days the class meets. Um, checklist date time. I was thinking we had a holiday schedule and I can't think of it right now. Holiday. How about the one that says holiday? Well, the holiday one just says if it is a holiday on a particular date, it's a way for you to uh, look at schedules to see if you've got classes meeting on a holiday. So um, meet days is probably the one. I thought there was a show holidays, show date. There it is. There it is. Show H date. I knew we had one here. Show H date returns a list of holidays within a range of dates. So if you put this uh, on a receipt, it would show any holidays that meet within the time frame of the class. So there's a, there's a couple of different functions you can use. Now again, those aren't standard on receipts, but you could add those and get with your tech to add those if you need it. Other questions here? Otherwise, we can kind of run through a couple other points and then get into other, we'll, we'll discuss a bit more. 
we've got them all so far. All righty. So uh, we've talked about the location-specific option. Um, one of the nice tools on the holiday tool is to see, do you have any classes that are meeting on that particular date? <clears throat> um, and one of the things I was kind of poo-pooing this, this was something we added. Uh, Lori had said, you know, this would be a great feature. And I oh, why do you care about that? And she said, well, here in, here in Georgia, we're having to close because of snow days. And so you could put in a snow date and find out what classes are meeting on that particular day uh, to, uh, to, to let them know that there's, there's going to be a problem. So that's one of the, one of the other tools to do that. Uh, checks to see if you've already got a class that's meeting on that day. Um, and, and you have to arrange for security to let, to let them in because normally the campus is closed. OK, so we've got checking for the classes. Um, did we schedule that day? Of course, the find. We've gone to that a couple of times. <clears throat> uh, clearing out the old holidays. And again, inside the holiday tool in Manager, um, yeah, we go holidays, is clear old holidays. I'm going to just, <clears throat> I'm going to just get to a record here. Once a holiday has passed, there's no functional reason for it to be in the database uh, for booking classes. Uh, I certainly can't think of any. And so the idea is the tool under holidays that says clear old holidays lets you clear all of last year's and 2008's and 2007 holidays. So I'm just going to say back to December 31st. And it cleared eight holiday dates. And so now when I go to look at holidays, I'm only going to see holidays coming up in the upcoming year. So that's the clear option. Uh, annual cleanup. And I'm not quite sure what I'm referencing <coughs> on this one. Oh, this was the idea of the holiday date example. And we've, we've kind of talked about that. Here's our clear holiday component. And that is really kind of the long and the short of holidays. Um, I do have a discussion item. Um, one of the things Lori and I were talking about is if, if any of you have been very organized and have gone through the national holiday schedule and like booked the next two or three years of the standard holidays. Um, I put Valentine's Day here at Aceware for for practice, but that's creating a, you know, you can make your own val holidays. But if any of you have done the basic, the main holidays, and you want to share that with us, I would put those up in our download section in the download section from the website, the tools section, and then we would let other people download those, and you'd basically replace your old holiday table, just wipe it out, replace it with the one from uh, whoever might donate it, and then you can add in your campus specific if you've got some specific holidays that are unique to your campus, a statehood day or a special a campus uh, remembrance day that you might have a holiday. So questions, Lori, how are we doing? Any buzz? Any we got it nailed? Everybody knows how to do holidays now? I think so. Um, very good. We don't have any questions that are left unanswered. Very good. Well I will while we're talking holidays, I'm going to kind of make a shout out. Speaking of room use, we've talked about the holidays uh, purpose to kind of book rooms for classes. We have an upcoming webinar, and one of the things we're going to feature is the new Control F2 or the Show Room Use tool. So again, if you are a person doing bookings, you're trying to manage what rooms are held where on your campus, brand new tool. We've got a new customer, a prodigal customer, who is using the heck out of this. And uh, that's going to be covered in the next webinar, New Goodies in 7.2 which is week after next. It is the Thursday the 10th of uh, February. Uh, uh, we had it booked for the 10th, and then we moved it to the 8th, and I don't think I changed the Oh, my bad. OK, hang on a second, kids. we gotta, we got to correct this here. So it is I think it's the, 8th, the 8th here. Uh, 
the 8th, and it's still 1 o'clock Central. So it is February 8th. That is Tuesday, February 8th at 1 o'clock. Yes. And uh, I believe that is going to be coming out shortly. So thank you much, everyone, for joining us. Lori, thank you for, again, and letting us hope, giving us hope that we will see sunshine and, and warm weather after this tremendously cold winter. So six months from now, we'll be complaining about the heat. We'll be complaining about the heat, and we'd love to see a snowdrift. So there you go. Lori, thanks again, everybody. Have a good week. And again, if you, anyone wants to volunteer their holiday table, it's Holidays DBF, uh, shoot a note to Lori or I, and we'll make arrangements to get it, and we'll post it on the website for others to download. All right. Everybody have a good day, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye, everybody.